It turns out that the Israeli government has been secretly helping Ukraine for a long time. The alliance between Russia and Syria seems to have angered the Israeli government. Israel, which has been operating on Syrian territory for a long time, has become involved in the war between Russia and Ukraine. The Israeli army has started to attack weapons and ammunition depots in Syria. And these attacks by the Israeli army have once again put relations between Russia and Israel at an impasse. However, this tension between Israel and Syria has benefited Ukraine. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu surprised everyone with his statements. There has long been an uncertain war between Israel, Iran, and Syria. These countries are competing for supremacy in the Middle East. Iranian and Syrian army on one side and the Israeli army on the other. These countries are fighting what they call a war of shadows. Constantly attacking each other, these countries are trying to impose their military superiority on each other. After a long time, this tension in the Middle East has been reflected on the territory of Ukraine. On one side are Russia's allies Syria and Iran, and on the other side is Ukraine's ally Israel. The tension on the border between Israel and Syria, which has been going on for years, has led to many casualties in both countries. The Syrian government said in a statement that the Israeli army attempted to attack a military base belonging to the Syrian army, which resulted in the downing of an Israeli warplane. The downed fighter jet was allegedly shot down by Russia's S-300 air defense systems. After the downing of the fighter jet, the Israeli army took action and organized a major operation against military targets in Syria. Targeting military bases and ammunition depots in Syria, the Israeli army managed to hit 12 targets. However, some of these targets are said to be ammunition depots belonging to Russia. This led to the tension between Russia and Israel that has been going on for years. But the Israeli army's attacks were not only directed against Syria. There were many ammunition depots in Syria belonging to Iran and Russia. By targeting these ammunition depots, the Israeli army is trying to break Iran's power. In recent days, the Israeli army took action again after it was learned that the weapons and ammunition on the way from Syria would be sent to the Russian army. There are many military bases, ammunition and weapons depots belonging to Russia in Syrian territory. The Russian army started to withdraw these weapons and ammunition due to the difficulties they faced after the invasion of Ukraine. However, the Israeli army did not allow this shipment. When the Israeli intelligence service learned that the arms and ammunition trucks would depart from Syria, the Israeli army took action. It is claimed that the military shipment trucks departing from Syria were destroyed with the air strikes organized by the Israeli army. Israeli officials made a personal statement on this issue and stated that they are carrying out activities to prevent Russia's occupation of Ukrainian territory. The whole world thought that the Israeli government was not providing military aid to Ukraine. But it turns out that Israel has been secretly sending aid to Ukraine. According to the American New York Times newspaper, the United States, in agreement with Israel's former Prime Minister Yair Lapid, has been supplying ammunition to Ukraine. The news that the Israeli government is supplying ammunition to Ukraine from its stockpiles surprised the whole world. Speaking to Reuters, an Israeli official confirmed all these allegations. Israeli officials said that they sent artillery shells to the Ukrainian army fighting against the Russian occupation. Major General David Iri, the former director general of Israel's defense ministry and a retired Air Force commander, said the ammunition was sent from Israeli army stocks. However, after it was revealed that Israel was providing military support to Ukraine, Israeli officials claimed that these ammunition stocks belonged to the United States. After all these developments, the statements made by Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu made us realize that Israel has been helping Ukraine for a long time. Although the Israeli government secretly provides ammunition to Ukraine, it does not hesitate to provide Ukraine with systems such as intelligence and missile radar. Moreover, Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu stated in an interview with CNN television that they are trying to prevent any arms and ammunition going to Russia. Russia, which receives a large number of unmanned fighter jets, weapons and ammunition, especially from its ally Iran, uses these weapons on Ukrainian territory. 
The Israeli Prime Minister stated that they have successfully prevented these arms shipments sent by Iran. Israeli leader Netanyahu stated that the issue of military aid to Ukraine is currently under evaluation. Netanyahu stated that they are currently considering the issue of Israel sending Iron Dome air defense systems to Ukraine, noting that they are already providing humanitarian aid to Ukraine. After the revelation that Israel was providing ammunition to Ukraine, Prime Minister Netanyahu responded by saying, the United States has transferred some of its own ammunition from here to Ukraine. The Russian army, which has been having a hard time in Ukrainian territory recently, is rumored to attempt a major attack again by taking a new mobilization decision. After this attack plan of the Russian army, Pentagon officials started to increase their military support for Ukraine. The missile systems and Abrams tanks sent by the US to Ukraine provide a great advantage for the Ukrainian army. The Ukrainian army has been conducting operations with HIMARS missiles in many Russian-occupied areas, forcing the Russian-occupying troops to withdraw from these areas. If the Israeli government agrees to send Iron Dome air defense systems to Ukraine, the Russian army will not be able to launch air strikes on Ukrainian territory for a long time. The Ukrainian army, which even now does not allow Russian warplanes and drones to fly over Ukraine, has managed to shoot down several Russian fighter jets and combat helicopters over the past few months. This month alone, a Russian fighter jet and a Russian helicopter were shot down in the Bakhmut region, where the war is intensifying. The Wagner soldiers, who managed to capture the city of Soledar, have now started to increase their attacks on the city of Bakhmut. However, thanks to the huge defense line created by the Ukrainian army, the Ukrainian army does not allow the invading Russian forces to pass through. Realizing that they could not achieve success with land operations, Russian forces decided to try air strikes to break through the defense line. However, this attack by the Russian army failed. Ukrainian soldiers shot down an Su-25 fighter jet of the Russian army in the skies over Bakhmut. The Ukrainian State Border Guard Service said in a statement, Ukrainian soldiers managed to successfully destroy the Russian Su-25 fighter jet with a portable anti-aircraft missile system. It was said that the fighter jet caught fire and crashed after the missile hit, but there was no information about the pilot of the aircraft. Russian occupying forces have recently stepped up their airstrikes against Ukraine. Russian forces have been carrying out missile attacks on areas where the Ukrainian army is deployed. The Russian army has launched more than 24 airstrikes in the last few days, and these attacks are being prevented by Ukrainian air defense systems. However, the Russian army is not only attacking the Ukrainian army. The occupying forces continue to damage civilian infrastructure in Kharkiv, Donetsk, Dnipro, and Kherson regions of Ukraine. The Russian military is said to have carried out more than 75 attacks on civilian infrastructure in these regions. Putin, who continues to commit war crimes on Ukrainian territory, ignores these warnings despite being warned by other state leaders. Due to these attacks by the Russian army, Ukraine is constantly experiencing electricity shortages. Ukrainian leader Zelensky continues to appeal to international courts to prosecute Putin for his war crimes.